हेलो स्टूडेंट दिस इज सी एस सी एस चिंतन देवलिया टीचिंग फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एट सी ए इंटर लेवल एंड स्ट्रेटेजिक फाइनेंशियल मैनेजमेंट एट सी ए फाइनल लेवल सिंस लास्ट ट्वेंटी इयर्स स्टूडेंट आई प्रिज्यूम योर प्रिपेरेशन फॉर योर इंटर एग्जाम्स माइट बी रॉकिंग एंड विद द काइंड ऑफ रिविजन सेशन यू आर एंजॉइंग एज एट जे के एस सी दिस विल कैपिटलाइज योर preparation level to so student without wasting more time let us jump on the chapter for the day and that is estimation of working capital hmm if we say working capital student very simple in simple language working capital is nothing but blood of the business yes no ha huh? when i talk about blood of the business let me start with the definition of finance student what is definition of finance the finance is nothing but sources and application of funds yes no yes and when i talk about sources and application of funds this funds can be divided in two categories one is long term one is short term short term is required and long term is required for a different purpose long term is required for what it is required for formation of the business expansion modernization diversification and so on student short term is required for what it is required for the routine activities of the business yes no now when i say long term student this long term funds are typically raised by equity preference debenture term loan and reserve student you might have studied a chapter cost of capital yes no that is same thing and when i talk about short term this is nothing but a monopoly market and that monopoly market is nothing but bank student any business enterprise who requires a routine capital in the form of short term they have to approach a bank for raising that working capital requirement and this chapter is about the same we are here we are going to approach a bank for raising the funds and this funds are short term requirement practically available for one year subject to renewal every year till the time business enterprise is on are you getting this now for this you need to have a crisp revision of operating cycle when i talk about operating cycle student you might have studied what that it starts with raw material yes no raw material is converted into what wip wip is converted into finished good finished good is converted into debtors debtors is converted into cash and cash is again reinvested in raw material and this cycle goes on and on and on till the time business is on so student here a chartered accountant in charge of raising the capital first thing the person need to understand what is the operating cycle of the company based on that based on that we need to prepare a working capital statement which is submitted to bank and thereafter bank will give you what the working capital clear everyone so the student the heart of the chapter is practically a operating cycle if you are clear about operating cycle it's very easy to prepare a statement and submit to the bank clear everyone now when i talk about your statement the statement is divided into practically two part current asset and current liability student depending upon your funds blocked in current asset your current asset requirement 25 crore but again we are very smart even we will block the funds of the creditors and workers and so on to so assume that 10 crore is your current liability so working capital requirement is 15 crore yes no and that 15 crore is a minimum requirement which may be increased by 5 to 10% or 20% let me take mathematic 20% 3 crore in the form of safety margin or provision for contingencies and your working capital requirement will be 18 crore yes no to so student we will approach a bank for raising this 18 crore we will approach a bank and tell them that 15 crore is the minimum requirement 3 crore we are keeping as safety margin so we need 18 crore this 18 crore is for one year thereafter subject to renewal after one year and so on till the time business is on so in this working capital is renewed every year with increased limit and decreased limit that depends upon the requirement of the company if company is growing the requirement of working capital might keep on growing if company is stagnant the requirement of working capital probably might be stagnant or even it can be reduced at a point of time 
clear everyone uh, come back to the major part now let us target the example one by one our uh, important points here we are going to target the important points student question one is a very basic simple example student but surprisingly very important for exam view point our material wages overheads are given and keep it in mind depreciation is ignored when we talk about cash cost method student keep it in mind we ignore three things no profits no sales and no depreciation yes no we ignore this as far as cash cost is method and by default the method is always cash cost the student in this example we will ignore profit selling price and depreciation so overheads will be 30 rupees per unit and all these three will be multiplied with what number of unit which is 50000 here and thereafter we will start calculating the current asset level and current abd level if i talk about raw material huh, keep it in mind this is based on material consumption creditor supplier supplier is based on creditors data student data is based on cost of sales it is not based on credit sales soon when you prepare a balance sheet balance sheet contains data at sales but when you are approaching a bank when you are approaching a bank for raising the funds data are calculated on cost of sales because nobody is going to finance your profit level so data will be cal cost of sales outstanding wages will be on wages outstanding expenses based on overheads that is expense level 25% sales cash so data will be calculated only on 75% of cost of sales cash balance directly given finished goods based on cop or cogs depending on the information available and thereafter your working capital requirement is ready clear everyone huh? here one point is not given in the example that is wip if wip is given student we apply the concept of completion stage i think you remember and when nothing is given we take completion stage as 100% for material 50% for wages and 50% for overheads i think the point is very clear huh? if nothing is given we take completion stage as 100% material 50 50 if it is given 80 60 60 then we have to take 80 60 60 so we need to respect the information given the example clear everyone so there is one question so in question two again a very important short short example sales is given at two months credit but again sales is based on cost of sales material two months that is credit as two months outstanding wages big point is manufacturing expense outstanding is given 80,000 student and when I say student 80,000 mind well this 80,000 is one month so for 12 months this is going to be what 960,000 students this is 960,000 you can't take 80,000 because 80,000 is outstanding and that outstanding is cash expense for one month so one month is 80 the 12 months is 960,000 clear everyone total admin expense paid as above total sales promotion paid quarter in advance this is paid as above with the outstanding and out this is the thing but advance with the prepaid fair enough Company says product at GP of 25%, counting depreciation a part of COP. Student, they have said the company charges 25% depreciation, that is profit, after counting depreciation a part of COP. But we are confident that this COP does not include depreciation. Reason, material does not include depreciation. Wages does not include depreciation. Factory overhead does include, but our factory overhead, that is this 960,000, confidently does not include depreciation because it is based on outstanding. Depreciation can never be outstanding. One more thing, the bracket indicates it's a cash expense. So by default, this is cash expense. Even though it is not specified cash expense, student outstanding is always cash expense. So depreciation is by default ignored. So no need to panic whether we should include or exclude the depreciation. By default, it is excluded. One month stock of raw material finished good and cash balance is given. Finished. A very basic again example. Clear? But the first question is without breakup of overheads. Second question is with the breakup of overheads. That is the only difference. Clear everyone? Yeah? Aye. Third question, student, again a very basic example, but the important point which I would love to highlight is this. Degree of completion 50% for material in process 4 week. Student, when I say here 50%, it is material, wages and overhead, all the three are 50%. You can't take this as 100%. 
this 100% is only taken if it is specifically given 100% or nothing is specified about completion stage. Here they said completion stage 50% matlab it is 50% for material, wages and overhead all the three. Student please do not commit mistake here. The technical point it is everything is 50%. Rest everything is normal example. Question 4 student. Again, Bargava Limited example, you might be aware about it. This is based on domestic and export sales. And in this example, student, both the daters, domestic and export, enjoying a different credit period. And we may better know that domestic and export are based on cost of sales. Yes, no. But we need a breakup of cost of sales. So, what should be the ratio? The ratio will be ratio of normal sales. So, student, whatever cost of sales, will be taken at 100% normal sales and you might be aware about this in domestic we are selling at a cost price but at the basic price huh? not cost price but a but normal selling price and in the export we are selling at 10% special discount so this will be 90% so student this is going to 40,000 and this is obviously 180 so the ratio of 180 and 40 for domestic export is 18 is to 4 or 9 is to 2 whatever the one you can follow it and whatever cost of sales you are going to derive divide that in the ratio of 9 is to 2 and thereafter derive both the data separately data for domestic and data for export wages is given manufacturing admin selling is given student one important point material is missing how you are going to calculate material is a missing frequency the student it is based on a GP ratio 25 percent on sales if 25% of sales is GP ratio, 75% is going to be your COGS which is COP and technically COGS and COP are different but here being an old company, existing company, you might be aware about it, we take COGS, COP same because opening and closing stock of finished goods are assumed to be same. So, here with the help of 75% as a cost of goods sold of your sales, we can derive total cost of production. Going backward, deduct wages and factory overhead, and your material will be 66,000. Clear everyone? A very important part. A missing frequency, material consumption is missing, which you can derive by going backside. Clear everyone? Done? And one more important point is special packing credit limit, which is nothing but 90% of export stock of raw material and export data both. So, whatever your current asset includes stock of raw material for export and data for export. Take the total and that 90% is a special loan given by the government for boosting the export sales and this amount will reduce your working capital requirement. You can take this as a current diabetes, so indirectly it will be reducing your working capital requirement. Fair enough. And last but not the least, you have to keep a safety margin of 10% of working capital requirement and there is a final total 100%. So, 100 will be your not working capital, it will be a working capital after adding a working capital requirement. So, 100 will be your working capital requirement, 10 will be safety margin, so normal working capital will be 90. Clear everyone? Am I clear everyone? Hmm? Question 5 student, this is very important. Whenever you see a new project or a new company, be clear there has to be a difference of COP and COGS and that difference will be very visible here 6000 is production minus 5000 is sale so 1000 is clothing stock of finished goods now this 1000 become opening plus 9 gives you 10,000 and minus 8500 student 1500 will be clothing stock of finished goods how dare you can take COP COG same here when the production is different and goods sold is different so, you need to readjust your COP by opening stock and closing stock to derive COGS. And student, one more thing, this is an example of two years. So, you need to prepare a working capital statement for two years, back to back. Am I clear everyone? Big point is, you should understand that material, direct label and depreciation, everything is given per unit form. And the complete data is given for 12,000 unit which is a full capacity. So, fixed manufacturing expense, fixed depreciation fix, admin overhead fix, all the three student will be taken at what? Will be taken at full capacity because the data is given at full capacity. Clear? Thereafter, you need to understand first point which they ask you is prepare statement of PNL.
which is nothing but account viewpoint. So here you need to consider profits, sales along with depreciation. You can't ignore any of them. And while preparing a working capital statement, you can follow your normal golden rules of preparing a working capital statement. If it's a cash cost method, you can ignore profit, sales and depreciation. So depending upon the information, you have to follow it. But if you are preparing account viewpoint, everything need to be considered. Clear? So the accounting viewpoint and second is a normal working capital requirement. But in case of newly formed company, student always understand that creditor will be calculated on credit purchase and stock of raw material will be calculated to material consumption. What happens in the old company? Consumption and purchase are assumed to be same. But as far as new company is concerned, you have to demarcate a difference between your consumption and clothing stock of raw material. Clear everyone? Huh? Opening stock will be zero. So due to clothing stock, your purchase amount will change. Done? Clear? What next? Come over question number six. It's a very normal example. You can revise it. Question 7, very important student, this is a question of single shift and double shift. And if you understand the last line, additional working capital, student, what is additional? It's a difference of single shift and double shift. Student, whatever data is given is for single shift. But the classic striking point of the example is number of units are not given, which you need to derive by correlating sales and selling price. So 432 divided by 18,000, your single shift units will be 24. And in double shift, so when you are planning for double production, so in double shift, your number of units will be 48,000 units. So student, you need to prepare your statement two times. One with 24,000 units for single shift. Number two for 48,000 units for double shift. Compute separate working capital requirement and the difference of single shift and working double shift working capital will be your additional working capital requirement. Clear everyone? Another striking point of the example is, student, the four figures which they have given is as per the balance sheet. So what happens is, for double shift student, you don't have a credit period. You don't have a holding period of stock, finished good, process time of WIP and so on, which you need to derive by applying the concept of operating cycle, derive the credit terms and thereafter, for double shift, you can apply the same credit terms as the information is given. Clear everyone? But mind well, this is the only example where WIP is calculated on prime cost, not 150-50. So WIP will be based on prime cost and finish will be based on total cost. One more thing, data in the balance sheet is based on credit sales. So what you have to do is, you have to compute your credit terms for the data, apply cost of sales concept and derive your data at cost. Because when you are going to the bank to raise the funds, we need data that is absolutely on cost approach not on sales approach. Clear? So that was there. One more thing, creditors are given two months and outstanding wages and overhead are given half month. So that will be same for single shift and double shift. Student, a very important exam viewpoint question. A very untouched example. You need to revise this question definitely at the last minute revision. Hmm? Question 8, student, again one of the class example of your operating cycle. Hmm? You understand? Here we have to take a basic revision of operating cycle and we have already studied in the classroom that in case of operating cycle student, huh, we need to calculate stock holding period, daters and creditors. Remember, stock holding period is based on consumption with average stock of material. If opening closing specifically given, otherwise we take opening closing to be same, so average will be same. WIP is based on COP, finished good is based on COGS, data is based on credit sales, and creditors is based on credit purchase. Based on that, stock, data, finished good, and date everything will be added minus deduct your creditors, and your answer is operating cycle. Clear everyone? So, this is a basic revision of the answer. And thereafter, if I come to this example, that is question number 8, raw material average, WIP average, finished good average, data is average, credit is average. 
स्टूडेंट स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल विल बी बेस्ड ऑन वॉट मटीरियल कंजम्पन वेर बाय ओपनिंग विल बी एडजस्टेड विद प्लस सॉरी मटीरियल परचेज विल बी एडजस्टेड विद ओपनिंग प्लस एंड क्लोजिंग स्टॉक माइनस तो ओपनिंग स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटीरियल प्लस परचेज इज माइनस क्लोजिंग स्टॉक विल गिव मटीरियल कंजम्पन डब्ल्यू आर पी बेस्ड विल बी बेस्ड ऑन सी ओ पी फिनिज विल बी बेस्ड ऑन सीओ जी एस और डेटर्स विल बी बेस्ड ऑन योर क्रेडिट सेल्स क्रेडिटर्स विल बेस्ड ऑन परचेजेस सो डिपेंडिंग ऑन दैट यू डि फाइव क्रेडिट टर्म्स एड रॉ मटीरियल डब्ल्यू आई पी फिनिश गुड डेटर्स डिडक क्रेडिटर्स क्रेडिट पीरियड एंड योर ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल इज रेडी टेकिंग वन ईयर एस थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव डेज कॉन्फिडेंट एवरी वन या क्वेश्चन नाइन स्टूडेंट नेट ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल एंड नंबर ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग साइकिल Now I say net operating cycle means what? Assume it, it's ninety days. So number of operating cycle will be three sixty upon ninety. If one cycle is ninety days in one year, it is going to be four times. Am I clear, everyone? So this is nothing but difference. Now here you have to calculate a real operating cycle, and that will be considered as the base of number of operating cycle. Student so raw material consumption is given based on average stock. You will be able to derive stock of raw material holding period wap in average wap difference is this is your cop ha huh? higher one is cop and lower one will be the average one will be stock so you are able to derive your wap conversion period finished good and average this finished good is cogs so with this you are able to derive stock of finished good holding period data is given deduct creditors and you will be able to derive your operating cycle And along with that, three sixty upon operating cycle, you are able to derive your number of operating cycle. Clear, everyone? Question ten, sir. Again, very important exam view point. Here everything is given, but with this operating cycle, number of operating cycle will be ready. For example, this is ninety days. Actually, it is ninety days. So number of cycles will be four times. Am I clear, everyone? But the important point is amount of working capital. Sir, so here. Amount of working capital is based on ad hoc approach. Working capital capital can be derived in two ways. One is a detailed approach whereby we prepare a statement and we derive what is working capital requirement that is submitted to bank. But here it's a ad hoc. Ad hoc means the total cost is eighteen lakh ninety thousand because depreciation will not be considered in twenty one lakh. We will ignore that. Huh? And that will divided by three sixty. So per day is five two five zero. Multiply by. Let me take this is eighty days. Let me take this is eighty days. You can derive that after this. If this is eighty days, this is four point five times. If not wrong. So if this is eighty days, the student this is going to be four lakh twenty thousand working capital requirement. Yes, no. Done. And that four lakh twenty thousand student is what? It is going to be your working capital requirement. If I just check a mathematics for a moment. Ah, uh, this is five two. I'm sorry, five two five zero into eighty. Yes, four lakh twenty thousand in the final working capital requirement. Student, this is ad hoc. A real requirement can be only be calculated after considering a working capital statement. And here, again, there's a modification operating cycle. As you are a monopoly market, you're planning to discontinue credit sale and deliver the goods on cash payment. Your prepayment means cash payment. And when I say cash payment, cash will be there. And only then you'll deliver the goods. So due to this, your operating cycle will reduce, and that will reduce in operating cycle. That will reduce your working capital. So your answer will be what is reduction working capital requirement? So that will difference of old working capital four twenty and a new working capital. Assume new working capital is two lakh rupees. So from four twenty to two lakh, your working capital requirement is reduced by two lakh twenty thousand. Clear, everyone? Fair enough. Question eleven, student. This is based on working capital policy. Now, theoretically, working capital policy can be three: conservative, moderate, and aggressive. Now, what is the difference? The difference goes like this: in conservative student, ah, huh, majority funds, majority funds are financed by long term, and short term will be only be there if and only if some contingency arises. In moderate. Majority funds is financed by short term, and long term is very rarely used. And here you try to balance your conservative and moderate aggressive both. So this is nothing but moderate approach. Then conservative, majority long term, aggressive, 
majority short term if i take a average approach it's a moderate approach whereby you try to balance your conservative and aggressive both clear everyone acha coming back to it as far as risk is concerned as far as return is concerned as far as working capital is concerned so in here the working capital you keep is high so your risk is low which might give you lower returns here in aggressive students you keep less working capital so your risk is high probably which might give you higher returns and here you try to balance everything on average grounds so you try to balance your uh, working capital requirement moderately risk will be moderate so return will be moderate clear the same thing is here student so you have to guide the company about three approach and let company take a call which approach they are most comfortable with if company is conservative they might go for conservative approach if the company is aggressive they might go for aggressive and if the company is moderate they might go for a moderate approach clear everyone yeah come back to the answer here you have to calculate three policies and for all the three policies you have to calculate the three ratios and depending upon that discuss risk return trade off which i have already guided this is risk return trade off you, you have to just write conservative less risk less return aggressive high risk high return moderate moderate is moderate return. and without calculus i can say the rate of return will be high in aggressive working capital will be high in conservative current asset to fixed asset will be high in conservative ratio because when you talk about working capital student definitely will keep more working capital conservative and less in aggressive and moderate is always a balance of both the approach clear everyone again student this is a very class example for exam view point very important done so that was all about your class work approach student question 1 for to be discussed only one important point is this a difference of raw metal wages and overhead now this is based on what selling price just 5 rupees selling price so 60% will be 3 rupees wages will be 10% is 0.5 overhead will be 1 rupee and thereafter it's a very normal example as if like question 1 and 3 of your class work very routine working capital requirement but i would definitely say go for this question question 2 again very classic student a very important exam view point whereby again a domestic and export sales are given and here again the same point 10% below domestic price so this is 100 this is 90% so this will be 24 lakh and this will be 12 lakh so the ratio of normal sales is going to be 2 is to 1 so divide cost of sales in the ratio of 2 is to 1 answer done second important point is a uh, income tax point income tax is payable in four installment 2 lakh 25000 so 225 divided by 4 is 56250 Now this five six two five zero will be paid four times. Three will be paid in a year. One will be paid in next year, which you can take that as a current liability. Clear, everyone? Yeah. And one more thing is this: company keeps two fifty available to it, including overdraft limit not yet utilized. So your approach is to keep two fifty available to you. Seventy five bank is ready to fund you any point of time. any point of time they have not funded they have given you the cushion that yes we can fund you any point of time so company will keep 250 minus 75 175 as a cash balance remaining 75000 bank is going to finance you as and when the requirement is there clear everyone and 12% contingency is based on final computed figure that is fine question 3 student again a newly formed company but highlighting feature is in this example is 1 lakh 4000 units plus 4000 students so your production will go like this during the year 1 lakh 4 finished goods are produced and by the end 4000 are in wip so whatever answer is going to work this is based on 1 lakh 4000 finished good plus 4000 will be your wip and finished good all the three will be 100% but for wip you have to take 100% 50% 50% remember we have a policy that if nothing is specified 150 50 but in this example they have specified and that specification is again 150 50 is given to you material 100% wages over at 50% so what you do is to derive total material to derive total wages to derive overheads you have to take 1 lakh 4000 for all the three raw material wp finished good i'm sorry material wages and overhead with wp 4000 
what 100 percent for material 50 percent for wip that is 50 percent of wages and 50 percent overhead add them and then you derive your final total clear everyone this is a very class point done everybody huh rest everything is simple but again don't get trapped into this point wages and overhead accrue similarly student this is one and a half month sorry one and a half weeks wages is given overheads is not given so a student might be tempted that as wages is one and a half week outstanding i am ready to take overhead one and a half week outstanding no it's a blunder because wages and overhead accrue similarly means they become due together but this is accrued and outstanding this is accrued and it might be paid during the year so this will be taken as outstanding this won't be taken as outstanding unless they guide you that wages and overhead are paid similarly accrue means they become due together due does not mean outstanding but if they are paid together so both of them either will be together outstanding or they will be paid together clear everyone that was this question one again the normal example you can revise it at your own student please 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 go for this example this is a very detailed example whereby you have to calculate your working capital requirement or operating cycle means first point you derive your operating cycle and number two you derive your working capital requirement based on cost of sales come on but the best part about this example is you have to derive material consumption you have to derive cop you have to derive cogs nothing is given ready made here they've given you the started information in the form of pnl the first thing is you have to prepare a statement whereby you have to derive cop cogs cos and so on and thereafter you have to calculate your operating cycle again raw material will be average wip average finished good average even data will be taken average creditors average student this is everything of operating cycle so if you revise this question i think you are very much comfortable with the concept of operating cycle please go for this example at the end of the day question 3 very normal example only good point is wip ka completion stage question 4 a very normal example you can do it at your own 5 is working capital approach very simple question 6 student don't miss this don't miss this it's a new project example very good example student again 60,000 full capacity so fixed manufacturing over taken at 60 fixed over taken at 60 remaining will be taken at cop and that is you can say at production cost 40,000 and this will be taken at 35,000 sales units this variable will be taken at 35,000 huh? and out of 40 if 35 is sold the so 5,000 is closing stock of finished goods you need to value that properly the rest everything is simple 10% of working capital requirement is a big point including that provision so it will be 90 plus 10 will be 100 so take 100 in the final answer 90 is a working capital 10% safety margin and so on clear that was the point question 7 again a very normal example as if it's a question 2 of your classwork example same eh? it's just a little basic difference are there done the so students what I have done is I have just taken a very crisp revision of the whole chapter i have tried to highlight which points are important in which examples and if you go through all these points with the due respect to the point which are violated very important for exam viewpoint if you go for those example i am sure you are not going to face even a one percent problem even in your exams so student i presume this revision is very helpful to you just go for it Make a best of it and rock your intermediate exams. Huh? Thank you very much.